Yo, 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 what's going on? Shan CB. Um, give me a second. I'm letting everybody get in. Uh, this is NFT Talk, uh, episode one. Make sure y'all are sharing this, sharing this, sharing this. Uh, we getting ready to start. I'm going to wait for Jamar to come in. Today we'll be talking uh, NFTs. We'll be talking mint- minting and we'll be talking blockchain. So stay on for a couple seconds. I'm waiting until my guest uh, gets on here. So I can- Oh, here we go. Boom. Hold on one second, y'all. Let me add a man. What up, brother? What's happening, fam? What's going on? What's going on? I'm excited, bro. I'm excited about this. This is fire. Me and too. I appreciate you being here and, and joining me today. This is um very very exciting. Um, we don't have to really, you know, take long. We can get, we can, you know, dive right into it. Um, what I will say, just to introduce everybody that's on here, uh, welcome to NFT Talk, the podcast. Uh, this is episode one. Uh, we have a very special guest today, uh, somebody that I trust in crypto, somebody that I trust in NFT, somebody that I trust when it comes to blockchain, uh, Mr. A doctor, sorry, no disrespect, <laughs> right? Dr. Jamar Montgomery, you know what I'm saying? We, let's get a, uh, we'll get a, a, a internet round of applause for my boy real quick, you know what I'm saying? Um, and also, guys, make sure y'all are sharing this live today. We will be talking NFTs, we'll be talking minting, and we'll be talking blockchain, all right? This is a very introductory level episode. Uh, this we want to we want to. This is all about education for me and for uh, and for Jamar as well. We really want to make sure that by the end of these episodes, you guys really understand what it is to uh, make an NFT um, and why they're good for artists and why they're good for consumers. Um, so getting started, Jamar. Um, I gave them a quick, you know, a definition of what an NFT is, and I, I'll kind of run through it, but. You know, today is more, I want to get some of your knowledge, right? So uh, NFT-wise, right? And NFT obviously stands for non-fungible token. Um, excuse me. Uh, it stands for non-fungible token. And with that being said, um, you know, can you kind of go into the differences between fungible and non-fungible? Because a lot of people that don't really know NFTs, they're thinking about getting into it, but they don't really know how or why. Can you kind of give them a, a good explanation of the difference between fungible and a non-fungible token? Oh, man. Great, 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 great question. So a lot of times when we think of like when we hear that name fungible, non-fungible, it's like what what is that? What exactly does that mean? And basically what it what we're saying is that fungible means that one can be replaced for another. Non-fungible means that this one is different from another. So if we think about like our dollars, right, Our, our dollars, each dollar bill basically looks the same, correct? Correct. The one difference between the dollar bills is that it has a serial number. So that right then and there, in terms of a dollar bill, and what we think about it, it's fungible. But when we look at there's an actual serial number attached to each dollar bill. So if I said dollar bill uh, C something of 0763, that's that's point specifically to that particular bill that is the non-fungible aspect so when we start talking about cryptocurrency and we start talking about nfts what we're saying is is that this is a type of token right a type of asset but it's a unique asset in that it has its own address its own identity and it is separate and distinguishable from another one okay so me just paying attention i say i know nothing about it right um for instance, does this make sense? Would it, so a Bitcoin would be a fungible token. Correct. Correct. Okay, and a Bitcoin is a fungible token because if you can you can tra- you can trade one Bitcoin equally with another. Bitcoin. Correct. Correct. Right. So for NFTs, if I, the reason they're non fungible, this is I'm taking your information and trying to you know. So the reason they're non fungible is because they're all tokens, but each token is different. Exactly. 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 Okay. So it's it's able to be replaced by it's able to a fungible to, fungibility means that um, same it can be replaced. It can be replaced. It can be replaced. Yeah, because there's, uh, there's more a, than one of that of that token, so it can be it can be replaced. Non fungible means almost like art. It's one of one. Exactly. It cannot be replaced. If it's messed up, it's over. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. I. I I think I think that the people are following us. I, I see 
I see some people in there uh, giving us, they said an NFT has its own information and no NFT uh, can be the same because it has its own unique information. Philly Millie, that's what's up, bro. For sure, for sure. That is true. Um, one thing I want to tell anybody that's watching, I would also love for you guys to make sure that if you have questions, right, please, please, please put them in there. Uh, at the end of this conversation, uh, we will, we will, you know, we will tend to the questions. Jamar is extremely enlightened. I myself am, extre am extremely enlightened and we're here to answer your questions and educate you guys. Um, so now that we have the difference between a non-fungible token and a fungible token, can you explain NFTs in a sense, right? Like, because people know that they're, now they know they're non-fungible tokens, right? But they don't know that they're, they're, they can be audio, they can be a song, they can be a movie clip, they can be an art piece, they can be a poster, they can literally be anything that you decide to mint, which is the next, you know, portion of our question. But could you, could you kind of go in a little bit more on just the exact purpose of an NFT and why would a consumer want to, why should a consumer buy an NFT? Why should they invest their money or why is it a smart thing for consumer or artist? It's, it's, it's a smart thing to do because it represents a unique digital asset, meaning a one of one. And so let's say, for instance, um, what if I wanted to release the old Tupac interviews, unreleased Tupac interviews, right? Those are one of ones. And if I was the only person who had access to it, it's valuable because of everything that Tupac has done for the particular culture, right? right. Nipsey Hussle, um, his unreleased music being released as NFTs because of what he has done for the culture, it makes it valuable because now you're the only person who has access to it. Let's draw some parallels between things that we have right now. Um, if I had, uh, okay, purses, right? Uh, for the women who like purses, if you now said, okay, I have me a Chanel purse, I have a Chanel purse, and what proves that it's a Chanel purse? I have a certificate of authenticity. That certificate of authenticity is registered to that particular purse, that particular model. And so when I go to sell it, somebody is able to see that I bought it from, that that certificate of authenticity came from the Chanel store. I bought it and now I'm getting ready to transfer it to somebody else. Mm. So what I've done is I verified its, or, or its, its origin because a lot of times that people are scared of getting knockoffs. But I know where, where it was originated from, where it was minted from, who it was transferred to, and now I'm able to, to show that value based off of that brand. Wow. Wow. I mean, it seems like to me it, it would be a no-brainer. I think that a lot of people that are having a hard time with it, it's funny because a lot of people that make money are having a hard time with it. And they're like, well, you know, I can guarantee myself some money off some property. I can guarantee myself here. But this right here is just, it's like they can't fathom it. But it's almost the same as stocks. And I think anybody that gets money is involved in stocks, right? It's all, it's yeah. all, it's all a gamble, per, per se. The, you know what the, I'm the challenge is, is now where we've, we've expanded pr what property means. We would have never thought that we would have had something called digital real estate. And now we do. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave that. They don't get to know about that today. They gotta watch to episode forty five. So you know what I'm saying? You going deep. I like that though. That's the energy we need. But yes, guys, there's all kind of stuff today. We don't have a lot of time to kind of give y'all everything. But if y'all keep watching, y'all gonna learn a lot, right? There's all types of digital real estate. But we're gonna leave that for the next one. Uh, moving forward, real quick, because I know we're we're short for time. Um, minting. Right, a lot of people don't even understand the concept and why is why it's important. Can you give them just a, a smidgen of why or uh, the process of minting and why it's important? Absolutely. So, uh, when we talk about minting NFTs, what we're talking about is uploading your particular digital asset, whether that be music, whether that be digital art, whether that be an interview, whether that be video, right, or whether that be a document, right uploading that onto the blockchain. So what you've done is you've taken that data and you've put it in what we call an ERC-721 token, which is an NFT. So the technical name for an NFT is an ERC-721 token. So you've taken that data and you've uploaded or encapsulated it in a token and now you've published it onto the blockchain. And that's next. You, you on fire today. I'm not gonna lie, that was that was a beautiful answer. Um, you guys in the chat, 
please, please uh, share this uh, share this live. Uh, very, very important. We are trying to get this information out to our community. Um, a lot of people seem to not really understand why NFTs are really dope and why they are the future because we're living in the future. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. please, please keep sharing this. Um, Art from the heart, NFTgallery.com is coming soon. NFT pod talk, NFT talk podcast will be every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and we're just going to keep this moving. Um, but now that we've gone over uh, what an NFT stands for, the difference between non-fungible and fungible, we've also went over what minting is. Um, I would like you to kind of get into a little bit of the blockchain and what is what is the purpose of it? I obviously love it. I think it's, um, I mean, it's, it's really, for the future, it's really dope, right? Like even to think that we won't even need, like I'm going through a prize, a pri well, I'm gonna let you talk about it and then I'm gonna go to why we need this damn blockchain, but please let them know what the blockchain is and, and let's, let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, blockchain is basically uh, the internet expanded. And instead of you, it allows you to have ownership and, and publish on the actual internet. So it used to be where we went from what we call web 1.0, where all we were able to do was get online and we had that the, the dial-up modem. You know, we had the sounds, right? Right. That's how we used to get on. And the only thing that we could do was read. Mm -hmm. Then we got to Web 2.0, where we're at right now, where you're able to interact with the internet. Now with Web 3.0 and the blockchain, you're now able to not only own, but also read and write to the internet. And now your computer is part of the network that supports what we know as the blockchain. Mm -hmm. The blockchain is a way of having a record that exists on millions of computers and a record that exists on millions of computers of all the transactions that happen on the web. So As question, not to cut you off, but I know that it's a question that came up when I was learning this in the beginning, so I'm sure they have it as well. But who are these people authorizing these transactions on the blockchain? Like how, like how is this happening? Is it just robots? Is it people? Like what's going on? No, these are actually people who have set up their computers and put software, the actual software, like Bitcoin is software. Uh, the Bitcoin protocol is software. The Ethereum uh, protocol is software. They've sub uploaded this onto their computers and then the computers act as servers for the entire. So you've created a network that is, lives on the internet and is connected by a bunch of computers. So it used to be like, Google has their own servers, right? And because Google owns those servers, servers, they have control over the data. But now that you are what we call a miner, or somebody who supports this network, the blockchain network, your computer is now part of the server that keeps this internet computer running. Mm. Yo, and it's crazy because when you look at this stuff, it's like, these people are getting paid. Yep. People don't understand that. For like, you know how many transactions go through on the blockchain a day? Yep. If you're getting a dollar off that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So these are jobs and these are possibilities to make money that we have to open our minds to. I know yep. that it's not normal, but you know, ten years I mean thirty years ago, the fucking computer wasn't normal, right? Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of what we have to what we and you know, I'm gonna speak for our people, but what we have to do just as a human, right, is understand that the shit that's legendary will never feel normal you know if right. you're doing if you're a pioneer if you're someone who's gonna die a legend and you you have to you have to indulge in things that don't that aren't normal per se right they're gonna be looked upon as weird until they become normal right and right. normal comes in time so right. um i wanted to open up the floor to to you guys and uh, anybody that may have questions uh we spoke on today we spoke on uh, fungible and non-fungible, the differences. We spoke on a little bit of minting, and we also spoke on, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, we also spoke on the blockchain. We haven't given you the full, but we've given you enough be as an introduction to this. So if you learned, if you were able to hear what Jamar said, you should be able to go and do some more research and feel like you actually have something to talk about. You know what I'm saying? You should almost be able to build your own NFT after this damn conversation, <laughs> right? Um, but with that being said, Jamar, is there anything that you want to leave the people with? You know what I'm saying? Uh, because, I mean, the information was, was vital. It was amazing. And I think if they really had no clue what an NFT was, they should completely understand. Absolutely. Um, well, yeah, go do your research. As a matter of fact, visit, visit my, my IG. I have plenty of resources on my IG. 
um, hit me up in my DMs. It's fine. I'm, I'm all about helping people out with understanding cryptocurrency and understanding blockchain. Um, I like to liken it to the Black Planet days. I don't know if you had a Black Planet page, but I did. And, I did. Mine uh, wasn't lit, though, but I, you, I had one. <laughs> well, the people who were who, whose pages were lit were uh, building websites. And to think that five to 10 years later that they could have built multi-million dollar companies off of the skills that they learned on Black Planet. So I mean, that's real because even with MySpace, right? It, it made us become like, uh, what do you want to call that? What are those graphic designers and shit? Exactly. My MySpace page was really, I started coding and shit so that I can get the video here and the song over there. Like, yeah. yo, you, you, that's real, bro. I literally was getting into this type of shit when I was like 14, 15 years old. And I wasn't really noticing that I was preparing myself for this. Exactly. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because to have a, a fire MySpace page, you legit had to be a graphic designer. Exactly. Whether you claimed it or not, but it was literally coding. I remember embedding shit into this so that my song could be here or embedding this little code that we made up at the bottom so that my friends could be there. I was like, yo, this is this is crazy. Um, so look, with that being said, guys, um, Jamar, I'll probably give you a call when we get off of here. But listen, uh, with that being said, guys, we'll be back Thursday, all right? So this is going to happen every Tuesday, every Thursday. Uh, today we got on a little bit late. Remember, these first couple shows are just really trial runs. Uh, but we'll be on at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific. All right, 3 p.m. Eastern and 12 p.m. Pacific. Please follow the page. Uh, I, I left it up there. It's called at NFT Talk uh, Podcast. Um, Jamar will be frequently on here. He'll be back Thursday as well. Um, and we're just going to keep giving you guys knowledge about NFT, crypto, blockchain, minting, everything you really want to know, um, because there's no reason that we should be behind the curve, right? And if we keep the conversation open, we'll keep getting knowledge. There's another thing I want to tell you guys. There's no fucking, there's no experts at this shit. Jamar is probably about the most expert person I know because this shit is new, right? People always want to tell you that they're experts and they know this and they know that. But a lot of this stuff, guys, is I'm learning new shit every day, right? Jamar just taught me something about the actual name of the NFT. And I have an NFT gallery. And to know that it's a CR27 tote, like, you know what I'm saying? These are things that you learn every day, guys. So even if it's something that you feel like you know, it might take you a long time to learn. You literally could get all this information in about a week of just reading. All right. So take this serious. It is the future. NFT Talk Podcast. Uh, you can follow me at JRTs. Let them know your Instagram to follow you at. Dr. Jamar Montgomery. D-R-J-A-M-A-R Montgomery. M-O-N-T-G-O-M-E-R-Y. And Dr. listen, we're doing this from across the country. So never make an excuse because know that I will be in LA at the end of the month. We might have to. You know, we might have to uh, make it even even bigger. You know what I'm saying? I'll have NFT you. Talk, the podcast, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Jamar, I appreciate you, my brother. I'll give you a call. All right, Absolutely. peace, everybody.